Right. Um, we've talked about 10 years at the top, Andy, and yes. perhaps beyond that period of time, you're a busted flush. Mm -hmm. Uh, some suggesting today, Jonathan Wilson in The Guardian, that uh, perhaps uh, Mourinho is that. Uh, depends when you start, I suppose, at the point you then subsequently find that you are beyond mm -hmm. your sell-by date. But um, at Stevenage, they have the youngest manager in the Football League. Uh, getting his feet under the table, Stevenage beginning to find form of yep. late. Claiming. Goodwin recently, as you saw in that article we just showed you at Hartlepool. And the youngest manager in the Football League, I'm delighted to say, has taken time out to talk to us today. <laughs> he is Darren Saal. Darren, thanks for talking to us. Thanks, Darren. How are you finding it? I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. Um, it's been a, been a bit, bit of a baptism of fire with the situation I inherited last year. Um, we had a little relegation battle, um, but we came out of that with flying colours and I'm very much enjoying myself. Darren, what's your formula? We, we hear so many young coaches come into the game now and, and they want to be all about possession and stats and facts and tippy-tacky football. I was going to say tippy-tappy football there, <laughs> Dan. But I believe you're more a traditionalist. I, I'm a little bit old-fashioned, Andy, actually. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm built on um, hard work, enthusiasm, uh, organisation, work ethic. I've had, to, I've had to work very, very hard to, to get to where I am. Yeah. I've, wasn't a football, I wasn't a professional footballer. Um, haven't had the blessing of a, a real big name sort of supporting a, a coaching career or managing career. I've had to have real jobs. I've had to work my way through my coaching badges and, and get to where I am. So I'm, I'm not really one for a strategy or a philosophy. I'm, I've got values and I just like my teams and my players to, to share the values that, that I try and live my life by, really. Darren, you have a huge fan immediately of Andy Gray, who's um, very supportive of that theory. So tell us, how, how did it come about then that you landed this job? Well, I, uh, I, I decided to give up playing um, in the conference, in the conference south, when I was about 22. I got my A licence at 22. I was a, a very young A licence coach. And uh, I just decided to really focus all my all my time and efforts on, on being a football coach. And I had no intention at the time of being a manager. And I was really fortunate that I met the, the chairman of the football club, uh, Phil Wallace. And over two spells, I've been in the community department, instead of community. I've ran the School of Excellence. I've been the youth team manager, reserve team manager, and academy manager, and then first team manager. And when uh, Teddy Sheringham was appointed, I was part of his coaching backroom staff. And, and the plan was that I would have a, a period of experience um, to, to groom me as such to become the manager of the football club at some point. Unfortunately, we didn't, uh, we didn't meet our sort of targets and objectives with Teddy. Um, I was given it temporarily till, uh, for, for any sort of period of helps were great. And then we uh, and, and got it permanently. Darren, have you been able to enjoy it? Or has it just been too hard work? I, no, I love it. I love it. I, I, I like the work. It's, it's not work, Andy, is it? It's no, football. no. Um, we're very, we're very lucky and go out every morning, uh, get on the grass and, yeah. and work with good players. We've got some really good people at our club. I, I really enjoy myself. And you're working with an old mate of ours, I think, Darren. Glenn Roder is helping you. Old, old is right. Oh, very old, I think, Darren. <laughs> very old. Very old is more accurate. He must yeah. be very old. I played against him. <laughs> <laughs> He would have reminded you 300 times about his step over. Oh, oh yeah. yes, yes, and I've, I've seen 300 of them during his career, trust me. Well, also, give, give, him, give, give him our best as well, Darren. Give him our best and keep it going. We'll, keep, yeah, keep we'll, going, we'll have an eye on you all season. Good to talk to you. Cheers, fellas. Take care. Thanks, Thank Darren. You. Darren Sahl, manager of Stevenage. Good story.